Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing like a part two of fragrances that I think are 100% worth the hype. Now, I just have 10 or so fragrances here. I think I have 10. But I wanted to put in fragrances that I feel like are quite hyped in the community and that I personally think are really actually worth that hype and they deserve it. So I want to start out with actually a personal favorite of mine. It is Mas Noir Rose from Narciso Rodriguez. Now, I think that this fragrance totally deserves all of the hype that it's received within the past few months. It is such a beautiful, feminine, just very sexy to me. Like, I know that I use this word so frequently, but this fragrance to me, it smells really, really sexy. It's sexy, but not in an obnoxious way, if you know exactly what I mean. It's smooth, it's musky, it's floral, the vanilla is just beautiful in the scent, the tuberose as well is just stunning, and it's all very smooth and well blended, and it still feels quite light. You would think a fragrance with tuberose, with vanilla, with rose, with um, musk would be quite an intense and in your face type of scent. It is not at all. It almost feels like a second skin. When you spray this on, it almost feels like you have a second skin. A beautiful, smooth, sweet, musky, floral scent that is just to die for, very sexy. Longevity projection is nothing crazy or out of this world, but you can't really expect it to last so long because it is quite a light and transparent fragrance. So it is just beautiful. I think it is totally worth the hype. A very sexy fragrance. Pierre, he always compliments me when I'm wearing Mas Noir Rose. Mas Noir Rose from Narcisa Rodriguez is totally worth the hype. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. You can see by the bottle how much I love this one. So next up, we have Herba Pura from Zerzhov. Now this fragrance is very, very hyped for many years actually. It's been around for quite a while and it's definitely been hyped over a span of several years, I would say. But personally, I only got it into my collection earlier this year and I really saw the magic of Herbapura. It is definitely not my favorite from Zerzhov and I mean that in the best way possible. I mean, from the brand, I have so many other fragrances that I love much more, like Tony Yomi, like Ivory Root, like Bouquet Deer, like Dama Bianca. I prefer those fragrances from Zerzhov and Kazmarati. But Herba Pura, there is a magic behind this scent. The compliments that you get when you wear this fragrance are just insane. People are just captivated by the scent of Herba Pura. It's very strong very, very musky, very fruity, kind of fresh almost in a way. And for me, I get this very like kind of dry, woody sort of feeling overall. Maybe there is a bit of ambroxan in the base, but for me, I get this very fruity, musky scent with a dry, woody ambroxan um, base to it. It is fantastic, but like I said, when I smell it like this, I don't fall in love with the fragrance. The For me, the beauty of this scent is when you wear it and the people around you just go crazy for the fragrance. For me, Herbapura is definitely worth the hype. You need to try it on your skin, have a little wand around and you will see it for yourself. The longevity projection on this one is also crazy. Sometimes actually I become anosmic to the fragrance and I cannot smell it on me anymore, but everyone else can still smell me. So Herbapura from Zerzhov, definitely worth it. Definitely a um, man eater fragrance if I can say that. Guys go crazy for Herbapura and um, it's just a really, really beautiful scent. So love it, definitely worth the hype. Next up, I'm gonna talk about Leighton from Parfum de Mali. Now, obviously this fragrance has been spoken about for several years, especially by me, and it is a totally, totally hyped fragrance. But if you're a guy and you're watching this video and you don't have Leighton in your collection yet, just get it. Really, this fragrance is so worth it. It's strong, it's sweet, it's aromatic, it's very dry and woody and masculine and so attractive. I swear to you guys, whenever my boyfriend wears this fragrance and he sprays it on, my head just turns to him. There is something so special about it. It's fresh from the lavender, it's sweet from the apple and the vanilla, 
but it also has this very dry woody ambroxan base as well to it and it's just a masterpiece fragrance so Leighton from Parfum de Mali very sexy very much worth it and longevity projection on this one is fantastic it's going to last on your clothes and your skin for days it is very 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 potent like most of the juices from Parfum de Mali they're very potent and this one is totally worth it so Leighton Leighton, it's worth it. Next up, we have Oud Satin Mood from Maison Francis Kirkjean. Now, I also really love from the brand Grand Soir, which is also kind of like a hyped fragrance, and I personally prefer Grand Soir on myself than I do Oud Satin Mood, but I know that it's definitely a very, very hyped scent, and a lot of people love this one. Now, Oud Satin Mood is a very, very strong rose and oud scent, it has violet, it has benzoin, it has vanilla, it has rose, it has violet, I already said violet. And for me, I get this very candied rose and oud scent. Slightly powdery, very candied sweet, and you don't really feel the oud too much in the scent, or maybe that's because I've lived in Dubai now for almost three years and I feel very acquainted with the scent of pure oud. So for me, I don't pick it up like completely in the fragrance. I do feel like it takes the back seat compared to the candied rose scent, but it is fantastic. I do have to tell you guys though, I cannot wear this fragrance anymore because I find it completely overwhelming, which is definitely a testament to how strong this scent is. When you wear it, you're wearing it. Like you're wearing the fragrance. It is so potent. It is so strong. It is almost suffocating how strong this scent is, but it is definitely worth the hype. A beautiful powdery candied rose with oud and very, very strong and long lasting as well. So next up, we're going to talk about Minuit de Mi from Fragrance du Bois and myself. Now this is definitely, was definitely a very, very hyped release um, from me. And I am just so happy, and I told you guys this in a previous video, that I feel now that the hype has died down from the scent, like the initial, oh my God, launching a perfume, it's a limited edition. I feel like now that that hype died down, people are actually discovering this scent and realizing how beautiful it is. I stand behind this scent completely. It is incredible and anyone that I've showed it to from the industry tells me how beautifully done the fragrance is. It is stunning. A slightly spiced, creamy uh, gourmand with a beautiful uh, woody tobacco dry down. It's sweet but not too sweet. It's not overwhelming. It's not overly sickly or synthetic. It is just a stunning fragrance. And whenever I see other fragrance reviewers including this fragrance in their top 10 for life, it really brings like this joy to me, inside of me, because I actually did create this perfume with Stefan Bengana. And for other people that love perfume to appreciate it as much as me, it really brings so much joy to me. So I thank all of you that are watching that have bought it, supported me, reviewed it, have said something positive and nice about the fragrance. I really, really appreciate it. And um, and yeah, it's just stunning. You have cardamom, you have pimento, so it's slightly spiced in the top, but then you have caramel, you have some coffee. It's just incredible and like a beautiful, uh, soft, woody, slightly tobacco-ish dry down. It's just incredible, very addictive, very sexy, very long lasting. You're gonna see that it's gonna leave a trail. Um, you can become anosmic to the scent, but trust me, it's there. It is really a 10 out of 10 fragrance and the hype is worth it on this one. And honestly guys, don't take my word for it. Just go and smell it. If you can find a store where it's available to try, go and smell it and see it for yourself because for me, it really, really is worth it. Minuit de Mi from Fragrance du Bois. Next up, we have Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent, which is definitely a newer hyped fragrance. A lot of people are talking about it and it is totally worth the hype. When I tell you guys that I think that this is one of the best vanillas on the market right now, I mean it. Oh my God. For me, what I get is a very, very resinous balsamic vanilla fragrance with a very kind of incense -y sort of vibe going on. Some people pick up some suede or leather. I'm not even sure of the notes in here, but for me, 
what I get is this beautiful high quality vanilla fragrance with a stunning resinous and balsamic touch kind of like this cold resinous vibe a little bit incensey and smoky on the skin woody in the dry down but it is just magnificent really really guys if you wanted a unique high quality vanilla baby cat is the way to go just an incredible fragrance for the fall and winter you've got to have this one in your collection the longevity projection is also fantastic on the fragrance and it is going to get you noticed and i'm also going to tell you guys a layering combination that i love to do is to layer the gris chanel x-ray with baby cat wow that is a killer killer combination so definitely worth it baby cat from yves saint laurent it's a recently hyped perfume but i do feel like the hype is totally worth it next up we have god of fire from stefan Amber luca now this fragrance i know where the hype started of this one first of all can we take a moment to appreciate this stunning bottle i just love this brand from the bottle to the juice to the perfumer to the people themselves because i actually did meet them in Cannes. They were some of the nicest people that I've met actually in the fragrance industry, which always makes me fall more in love with the brand when you meet the people and they're actually these really genuine, kind, lovely people. It was really a pleasure to meet them. And that doesn't make me uh, want to talk about the products more. It was just such a beautiful experience. So anyways, God of Fire is very hyped right now. No retailers can keep this fragrance in stock and on the shelves. It is selling like hotcakes right now. God of Fire is a stunning uh, tropical fruity ambery floral scent that is just addictive, very sexy, very powerful, very addictive. And it's just amazing. As far as a tropical scent goes, this is exactly what I want my tropical fragrances to smell like. It has a burst of lemon, and ginger on the top so you definitely get this kind of fresh almost a little bit spiciness on the top and then it starts to come down you feel the mango and what i love about the mango in here is that it doesn't go too creamy sometimes mango in fragrances can go a little bit too creamy for me a little bit too i never thought i would say that because i love creamy fragrances but sometimes mango can feel a little bit flat a little bit one-dimensional in this fragrance because i think that they paired it with the lemon and the ginger on the top i think it perfectly balances out the mango i guess there is some vanilla i know there is some jasmine or some floral notes in here and the base is quite ambery and quite sexy it is just really a 12 out of 10 fragrance that is totally worth the hype for me this smells like a bestseller and as soon as i smelled it in milan in june i smelled it and i was like that is incredible and it really does smell like a best-selling fragrance it's just very addictive very sexy and very very appealing it's amazing. I absolutely love this scent. It's sparkling as well in the top because of the lemon and the ginger. This is just addictive. So God of Fire from Stefan Amber Luca, definitely worth the hype. The brand in general, it's a brand that I only recently got to discover this year because in Dubai, I haven't really managed to find it in many places. So for me, I only recently discovered the brand and oh my God, have I fallen in love. Venom Incarnate, there is Lady White Snake, I love Sole de Jedi, and the two flankers that they launched this year, Afterglow and Mango Kiss. Everything from the brand is just fantastic. You can see that I just have it here. There are Harrods exclusive as well, it's fantastic. You guys are gonna hear me talking about the brand a lot more because I have quite a few of the products and I am in love with some of them. So anyways, Stefan Amber Luca, God of Fire, 100% worth the hype. Okay guys, so the next fragrance that we have here, I'm gonna put a photo on the screen, is Musk Ravageur from Frederic Kamal. This is definitely a hyped fragrance within the entire fragrance community, not only on YouTube, but on uh, Instagram, on blogs, on TikTok. Musk Ravageur is just incredible. And guys, I cannot tell you how long I've wanted to own the fragrance and I don't know what is taking me so long and why I don't have a bottle because it is definitely one of my favorites from Frederic Mull. Musk Ravageur by Maurice Roussel. Actually, I just found out I'm going to meet Maurice Roussel really soon. So I'm very, very excited about that because I heard many good things about him and uh, I can't wait to meet him. So 
Musk Rabajor is a warm, spicy, musky, vanilla, woody. Uh, it is magnificent. I love the combination of the spices with the vanilla, with the musky woodiness. It is just absolutely a dream. It's quite ambery as well, but in a more labdanum ambery way. And it's just magnificent. A 10 out of 10 fragrance from Frederick Mull and totally worth the hype. A lot of people love this one for the fall and winter. And I know why, because it's just this comforting, beautiful, warm, sweet, but not overly sweet fragrance. That is just an absolute masterpiece. So Must Ravage Your from Frederick Mull has my ticket of approval and I think it is totally worth the hype. Next up is this fragrance, this balm right here. This fragrance is called Possibilities from La Perla. Now, this fragrance is not necessarily hyped, but I think there are quite a few people talking about it from the fragrance community. If I drop this right now, I will cry. So La Perla Possibilities. This is my scent right now. This is my scent of the moment. This is me. I don't think I've been as head over heels in love with a floral fragrance since Rouge Malekit. That is how much I love Possibilities from La Perla. I went out and bought this fragrance with my own money. I don't remember why I bought it, but I was in La Perla and I smelled it. I remember seeing this bottle online on some Instagram photos, etc. And I went into La Perla and I was having a look because I love their lingerie. It's amazing. And I went to smell the fragrance and I just fell in love. I took the blotter with me. I didn't buy it straight away. I fell in love with it, but I put it in my bag, the blotter, and I walked out of the store and I smelled it and I went straight back. What is it about this scent that is making me so addicted to it? I don't know. I want to wear this fragrance every single day. I want to bathe in this fragrance. I want my hair, my body, my... I'm my feet, my everything, my sweat. I want everything to smell like possibilities from La Perla. This fragrance is to die for. This is my signature right now. I have two signature scents. It's Vibrato and La Perla Possibilities. Those are my two signatures. Vibrato for the day, La Perla for the night. That's me done. If you could tell me right now, what would you take on a desert island? You have the option only for two fragrances. Vibrato possibilities. Those are my two scents for life right now. That's it. I'm done. What I get is this floral, sweet, vanilla, slightly musky, powdery sort of scent. But it is just incredible. Incredible, you guys. So what we have in here is freesia, blackcurrant, pink pepper. Rose, Petalia, Orange Blossom, Cashmere, Vanilla, Akigala Wood, and Ambergris. Now, oh my lord, I'm just, I'm done. It's floral, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's addictive, it's a little bit peppery in the top from the pink pepper. It has this beautiful Cashmere, uh, uh, woody, dry down. It is just, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. It is so sexy, you guys. It is incredibly sexy, incredibly sexy. This is gonna turn heads. This is gonna get you noticed. This is a date night scent. This is when you want people to come up to you and get on their knees and drool over you. I don't wanna go into it too much, but I took this to Cannes with me because I bought it just before I was obsessed with it. And I was like, okay, this fragrance is coming to Cannes. Now, if you guys don't know, I was just at a perfume exhibition where I met so many people from the industry. I, the compliments on this, I got a compliment from Alberto Marias. I could not believe it. Alberto Marias told me I smelled good twice when I was wearing La Perla Possibilities. I gave him like a kiss, kiss, hello, how are you? He told me immediately, you smell amazing. Then just as I was gonna go after we had talked a little bit, he told me I smell incredible again and I was wearing Possibilities from La Perla. I also got a compliment from the creative director of Amouage when I was wearing this fragrance. I got so many compliments when I was wearing this scent. The compliments are insane. The fragrance is insane. Longevity and projection is amazing. This is sex in a bottle for women. Sex in a bottle for women. This is magic in a bottle. 
La Perla possibilities. And finally, I want to talk about Ensemble Suave from Matière Première. Now, for me, this is a hyped fragrance that I believe is truly worth it. Matière Première in general is such a stunning house. I love 90% of what they create, if not 100%. I love Radical Rose, which was a slow burn for me. I love Santal Austral. I love Ensemble Suave. I love um, Bois de Ben. I love Tuberose, which, what is it called? French Flower, sorry. I love so many fragrances from the brand. The one that I feel like got the most hype, I would say, is Ensemble Suave, and it is definitely worth it. This is a burning incense fragrance. It's sweet, it's almost like this caramelized incense. It is just incredible. It smells like fire, it smells hot, it's very addictive, very captivating. When you wear this fragrance, people again are gonna turn their heads because this is so unique, very special and very attention grabbing. The longevity projection on Ensemble Suave as well is um, too much almost. Like it's almost lasting too long and projecting too much on the skin. It is potent AF, this fragrance. And really, it is super addictive. I think you have coffee, incense, vanilla, maybe some benzoin, but it is a very sweet, um, caramelized, very smoky incense scent. Kind of resinous at the same time as well. I don't pick up the coffee so much in the fragrance, but that's because I think the benzoin and the vanilla and the incense are playing so beautifully together. I think the coffee is more in the background. But guys, this is special. This is burning, it's hot, it's fiery. This is for somebody who really wants to get noticed. Perfectly unisex as well. Um, and it's just an incredible 10 out of 10 fragrance that I think is definitely worth the hype. I know it wasn't probably the most hyped fragrance in this list, but I have heard a lot of people talking about this scent. So definitely Ensemble Suave is worth the hype. Love it so much. And yeah, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.